Steel. It's everywhere you look. From the buildings that define our skylines to the everyday objects we often take for granted, steel is an integral part of our lives. From the skyscrapers piercing the clouds to the cars we drive, steel is the unsung hero of our modern world. It's in the bridges that connect our cities, the railways that transport goods, and even in the appliances that make our homes comfortable. It's the backbone of our infrastructure, the foundation of our industries, and a testament to human ingenuity. Without steel, the modern conveniences and structures we rely on would simply not exist. But have you ever stopped to wonder how this ubiquitous material is made? The process is not just about transforming raw materials, it's about harnessing the power of nature and human innovation. The journey from raw iron ore to gleaming steel is an epic tale of heat, pressure, and precision engineering. It begins deep within the earth, where iron ore is extracted from mines. This raw material is then transported to steel mills, where the magic truly begins. It's a process that's both fascinating and complex, involving multiple stages and a deep understanding of chemistry and metallurgy. The iron ore is first melted in a blast furnace, where it's combined with carbon to create molten iron. This molten iron is then refined and alloyed with other elements to produce different types of steel. In this exploration of steelmaking, we'll delve into the heart of this essential industry, uncovering the secrets behind each step of the process. From the initial extraction of raw materials to the final product, each stage is a marvel of modern engineering. We'll witness the raw power of molten metal, the precision of modern engineering, and the dedication of the men and women who make it all possible. These workers are the unsung heroes, ensuring that the steel we rely on is of the highest quality. So, buckle up and get ready for a thrilling ride as we uncover the fascinating journey of how steel is made. From the depths of the earth to the heights of our tallest buildings, steel's journey is a story of transformation, innovation, and human perseverance. Join us as we explore the incredible world of steelmaking and gain a newfound appreciation for this vital material that shapes our world. Our journey begins with iron ore, the raw material from which steel is born. This journey is not just about the transformation of a rock into a vital component of modern infrastructure, but also about the immense effort and technology that make it possible. This humble rock, rich in iron oxides, is found in vast deposits around the world. These deposits are the result of millions of years of geological processes, where iron-rich minerals were deposited in layers, creating the rich veins we mine today. Extracting this valuable resource is no small feat. It requires careful planning, advanced technology, and a dedicated workforce. The process begins with geological surveys to locate the richest deposits, followed by the development of mining plans that ensure the efficient and safe extraction of the ore. It's a massive operation, often involving gigantic machinery and skilled operators. These machines are marvels of engineering, designed to handle the immense weight and volume of the ore. The operators, trained to precision, maneuver these behemoths with skill and expertise. Imagine colossal excavators, their buckets dwarfing even the largest trucks, biting into the earth, unearthing tons of iron ore with each scoop. Each movement is a testament to human ingenuity and the relentless pursuit of progress. This is the front line of the steelmaking process, where raw materials are wrestled from the earth's embrace. The extraction process is a symphony of coordination, with each piece of machinery and each worker playing a crucial role in the overall operation. Once the ore is extracted, it's loaded onto massive trucks, their beds groaning under the weight. These trucks are specially designed to carry heavy loads, with reinforced frames and powerful engines that can handle the rough terrain of the mining site. These behemoths then rumble across the mine site, transporting their precious cargo to the next stage of the journey. The journey from the mine to the processing plant is a critical step, ensuring that the ore is delivered efficiently and safely. The air is thick with the smell of earth and the roar of engines. This is a place where nature and technology collide, creating an environment that is both challenging and awe-inspiring. This is a world of hard work and heavy machinery where the journey of steel begins. The dedication and effort of the workers here lay the foundation for the steel that will eventually be used in buildings, bridges, and countless other applications. Yeah, it's an intense process. The sheer scale of the machinery and the amount of ore we move is just staggering. Each day, we move thousands of tons of ore, a testament to the efficiency and capability of our operations and the amount of ore we move is just staggering. 
The logistics involved in coordinating the movement of such large quantities of ore are complex, requiring precise timing and communication. But it's all in a day's work to get that iron ore out of the ground and on its way to becoming steel. The journey from raw ore to finished steel is long and intricate, but it all starts here, with the hard work and dedication of the mining teams. With the iron ore safely extracted from the ground, the next step is to separate the valuable iron from the unwanted rock and impurities. This is where the real magic begins, transforming raw ore into a usable form. One of the most common methods employed is crushing and grinding the ore into a fine powder. This increases the surface area, making it easier to extract the iron. The powdered ore is then subjected to a process called beneficiation, where it's mixed with water and chemicals. This mixture is then agitated in a process called froth flotation. Air is bubbled through the mixture, and the iron particles attach themselves to the bubbles, rising to the surface like magic. The unwanted waste materials sink to the bottom, effectively separating the iron from the ganga. The concentrated iron ore, now in the form of a slurry, is then dried and formed into pellets, ready for the next stage of its transformation. Section 4. Iron on the move transporting raw materials. Now that we've successfully extracted and concentrated the iron ore, it's time to transport this vital ingredient to the steel plant, where the real alchemy takes place. This often involves long journeys across land and sea, a logistical ballet of epic proportions. Trains, ships and trucks all play a crucial role in this global supply chain. Imagine colossal cargo ships, their holds laden with iron ore pellets cutting through the waves, their destination steel mills hungry for raw materials. These journeys can span continents, connecting mines in remote corners of the world with bustling industrial centers. It's a testament to the interconnected nature of our modern world and the vital role transportation plays in the steelmaking process. The arrival of iron ore at the steel plant marks the beginning of the next chapter in our story, where the intense heat and pressure of the blast furnace await. Section 5. The Fiery Heart of Steelmaking, The Blast Furnace We've arrived at the heart of the steelmaking process, the blast furnace. This is where the raw materials are transformed into the essential building blocks of modern civilization. This towering structure resembling a giant chimney is where the real magic happens. Standing tall and imposing, it is a marvel of engineering and a symbol of industrial might. Here, iron ore undergoes a dramatic transformation shedding its impurities. The raw iron ore which is mined from the earth is rich in iron but also contains many impurities that must be removed and emerging as molten iron. This molten iron is the pure liquid form of the metal, ready to be further refined and shaped into steel. Inside the blast furnace, temperatures soar to over 3000 degrees Fahrenheit. The intense heat is necessary to melt the iron ore and separate the iron from the impurities. It's a scene of intense heat and raw power, a testament to the forces we harness to create this essential material. The fiery glow and the roar of the furnace are a constant reminder of the energy and effort required to produce steel. Iron ore along with coke, a high carbon fuel, and limestone, a fluxing agent, is fed into the top of the furnace. These materials are carefully measured and combined to ensure the proper chemical reactions take place. As the mixture descends through the furnace, it's met by a blast of superheated air, igniting the coke and sending temperatures soaring. The superheated air, or blast, is blown into the furnace through nozzles called tuyeras, creating the high temperatures needed for the chemical reactions. The limestone reacts with impurities in the ore, forming slag, a molten waste product that floats on top of the molten iron. This slag is periodically removed from the furnace to keep the process running smoothly. At the bottom of the furnace, molten iron glowing with an infernal light is tapped off. This process, known as tapping, involves opening a hole at the bottom of the furnace to allow the molten iron to flow out and transported to the next stage of the process. The molten iron is collected in large containers called ladles and moved to the steelmaking furnaces, where it will be further refined and alloyed to create different types of steel. This is hot, dangerous work, a testament to the skill and dedication of the men and women who work in these extreme conditions. Their expertise and bravery ensure that the steelmaking process runs smoothly and safely, providing the world with the steel it needs for countless applications. From skyscrapers to bridges, cars to appliances, 
The steel produced in these furnaces is an integral part of our daily lives. The journey from raw iron ore to finished steel is a complex and fascinating process, one that highlights the ingenuity and determination of the human spirit. As we continue to innovate and improve our steelmaking techniques, the blast furnace remains a crucial part of the process, a fiery heart that drives the industry forward. The future of steelmaking will undoubtedly bring new challenges and opportunities but the blast furnace will always be at the core of this vital industry.